Good afternoon, that's me again. Now, today, I'm a, a, a friend, a person I've known, and he's got a little thrasher behind me. Now, unfortunately, it's in a bit of poor state of affairs. But it's nice to documentary this sort of thing and uh, show you people out there. And if you fancy taking it on, I'll put you in touch with a chap who it belongs to. Anyway, thanks for coming along. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up for me. I really appreciate it and subscribe to the channel. Now, the subscriptions are going really well now. And I appreciate all you guys that have subscribed to my channel. I've come from nowhere. No one's given me a helping hand on the way up there. No one's recommending my channel or anything like that. But I'm really grateful for you guys out there. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get on with the video. Right, in this video, it's about an old thrasher. Let me take this mask off, Ted's gone there. Right, it's an old thrasher, it's in a bit of a dilapidated state, but I want a documentary, because it's still about old farm machinery anyway. Let's take a look at it now, and uh, it's got a nameplate on it. Let's have a look. Right, as you can see, I think it's gone quite a long way from repair. But let me show me the, the name. The plate's still on there. William Foster's. Oh, the shadows. It's William Foster's of Lincoln in England. Now, perhaps in the comments you can tell me what sort of fashion this is. Because I have no idea. But can you imagine the history of this machine? And the guys that worked on it all those years ago so I came down now it's, it's an old orchard it's been left in the orchard I presume as I say perhaps you guys let me know this wheel here this be the one that was drove from the tractors or the steam engines, as you say, and work these old fashioned units. I don't know what that might, uh, name means, perhaps someone will tell it's Foster's. It's a shame it's in a poor state of repair, but I'm afraid. Everything ends up in the ground somewhere along the line, doesn't it? William Foster again. The wheels. Look at the big eyed iron wheels and the wooden axles. And cams. Every part of this machine has done a job though, that's what I'm fascinating, fascinating right? The box that's in the soil. I don't know what that done, but obviously it's got a pulley on it, it must drive, drive something. Now whether it was this pulley drove it or something else, I have no idea. But the ironwork. Alone. You see the pivot, and I'm afraid it's grown into the trees now. The tree's grown into it, and it used to be pulled by a steam engine or a horse. But if there's anyone out there who's interested in this, I will, uh, if you put me a comment down, you know, just down below, and uh, I'll see if I can get it for you. Because it'd be, it'd be a shame to let this go any further than it is. Like, you know, even if you have to make a new frame up for you. 
press it to save some of the old frame. You know, there's pulleys everywhere. I've got the trees growing through it. But I call this old iron and like I say, I enjoy old iron anyway. Okay, just a short one I know. It's nice of you to come along with me. And let's save this type of stuff. And, uh, you know, for future generations. Let's say if you like the video, bit of a somber note now, really, isn't it? If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up for me. And subscribe to the channel. We've just passed 800 subscribers now. Next uh, point will be a thousand subscribers, which would be unbelievable. As I say, I appreciate you coming along, sharing the time with me. Cheerio for now.